Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm incredibly proud to be over here and especially to see such an amazing group of girls. Um, so just a little bit of a background on how we've come here and why we've come here. Um, I'm from India. I spent the first 21 years in India. Um, I had an unusual childhood. My father was um, a pilot in the Air Force and my mother was a doctor. And I was brought up um, being told, given the message that there were absolutely no boundaries. Um, I grew up with, my dad later became, uh, he used to fix cars, and so I've taken apart um, semi-automatic transmissions in our drawing room, and engines were as equally a part of our household as books and toys. Um, so I never knew what was um, a girl's traditional career or what was a boy's traditional career. It was just that this was part of how, how life is. And when I when I, I also wanted to create airplanes, and so I I, I went and pursued a career um, in education in aerospace engineering. So that's where my formal um, training is. And I was very surprised when I came to the to the U.S. to see how um, it, it culture really sort of pushes a message on girls that these are certain types of careers that are okay, um, and these are ca careers that are more open for boys. And honestly, it really is um, what you see you are capable of doing. And that, that was what really made me step back and see how can you change the world? Um, and education and sharing messages like this, that there's nothing stopping you, there are no boundaries, the world is, is your oyster, there are lots of resources, lots of people want you to do the best and to be your best. Um, so my, my vision really was to create a, an organization that brings amazing experts in science, technology, engineering, and math, and to connect them with children, with girls, um, and to really inspire them to see that there are no boundaries. There's absolutely nothing that you cannot do, and we are here to help you. So that's why I started Iridescent. It's a science education nonprofit. Um, we've been running for seven years, and Technovation Challenge is one of our core programs. This is a map of what we have achieved this year, and we are just so proud. You have no idea how complex it was. We were a, nation, a national program, and this year we went global. So we have had more than 600 girls from 19 countries participate this year. And this has all been done on a team of four people. That's absolutely incredible. And I really want you to give a hand to my, my team. It's, it's been very, very interesting to see how um, a model that needs a lot of resources in terms of people um, can scale to, co to countries like Nigeria, UK, Brazil, um, to Ghana, where, where um, one of the stories was that only middle-aged men um, can have phones. It's not cool for a, for a high school girl to have a phone. Um, so these are the kinds of cultural barriers that we want to break, and we want to show girls that technology is an amazing amplifier. There are no, no boundaries. There are lots of parallels between what we have learned as an organization trying to scale up and what you as a team creating an app are trying to, fa uh, trying to, to, to overcome. So right away, the first thing was that there are no boundaries. When, when we started to think about um, creating a national program, the next step was, can we do this globally? Um, and, and people would come back and say, but try and do the nationwide program first. Why take on the complexity of a global program? And there was something in my instinct telling me, um, just try it. <laughs> You've got nothing to lose. And so we leapt. Um, and my team left with me, and, and here we are today. So again, I'm just so thankful to the people who believed in a really high-risk dream that this is possible to do, and we built the bridge as we were leaping. So um, this is going to e get better and better each year because we've learned so much this year. The, the re only reason why we've been able to scale globally this year has been through the power of technology, and that's why this program is so powerful. We, pu we push, uh, pushed all of the curriculum online onto P2PU, so it was an open curriculum, so anybody could you access the content and learn when they, were, when, they, when they wanted to. So it was a huge amplifier, and so a team of four could reach out to 600 girls in, in all over the world. The other interesting thing we learned was 
Don't settle for the obvious solution. The obvious solutions are the easy solutions that everybody adopts. Um, usually when people think of scale, you think of hiring more people and reaching more, more people that way. But uh, if you have limited resources, you're really pushed to be innovative and to be creative. And that's what this, the Technovation um, uh, program also supports. Really go for the harder, but go for the more innovative and you'll do great things. We, we talk a lot about diversity, right? And, um, and interesting, uh, the fact is that if you have a diverse team, you actually tend to uh, make much fewer mistakes and you converge on solutions much faster. And this is again true of the iridescent team. We all have very different and very high, high, high opinions and very deep opinions. And this is true of all the different teams that you see today. Each country comes with a different problem, with a different opinion, and when you come together, you see what powerful uh, solutions uh, you bring. And that's the, that's the reason why we want more women in today's workforce as well. Two other things that I would like to reiterate. So we care very deeply about openly sharing our ideas. And I, would, and, I, and I really support that you come up here and you, share, and you talk about your idea, but, but even if it doesn't get funded, I really think that the power is in sharing and openly um, uh, putting up the code online so that you can really educate the, the, the whole field. So don't hide your idea, but, but put it out in the open and let people use it and give you feedback. And then you're really um, empowering and educating the entire, um, entire ecosystem. And finally, thinking that it's really going to take a lot of time. So this Technovation is a 12-week program, and honestly, it takes 15,000 hours to be an expert programmer. So that's more than eight years of working 40 hours a week. So this is just the first step. Um, I really want you to think that um, it, it, this, it, you're going to come back and do this better, build a more awesome app, and you're going to come back and do this every year. And then you, after four years, you come back and be a mentor. And then you're really an amazing, powerful resource for, 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 for your school and for the community um, of future programmers. And finally, again, don't be scared. Just leap. <laughs>